Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, what's going on? Not much. How are you? I'm a little concerned about the different words I'm going to have to pronounce today. <laughs> I will say them for you. We've got a live audience today, and I, I'm, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to mess it up, but today we're talking about DEM. Yes, a supplement called DEM. And we talk about it all the time, I feel mm-hmm. like. Uh, I know you guys do in the office. Yeah. What is it? Okay, so first of all, DEM stands for diendolomethane, which is why we call it DEM. I knew you were going to do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Di- Diendolomethane. 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 Yes. Endo, is that like diabetic? Is this like, is that? It's not diabetic. Okay. Yeah. So no, no, don't go there. It doesn't. Different kind. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we call it DIM. D-I-M. Okay. Um, this is a supplement, like he said, that we do talk about in the office all the time. So DIM is a compound that's created when you digest cruciferous vegetables. So things like um, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage. Interesting. So when you eat those things and they hit your stomach, it breaks it down into these substances. That DIM is. That DIM is. Okay. But to get the amount of DIM that we need to do the things we're going to talk about, they'd have to be like all that you eat. One thing when I think about cruciferous vegetables, mm-hmm. I think they're hard to digest. Does that have anything to do with what we're talking about or no? No. So okay. it doesn't have anything to do with digestion. Okay. Um, it has to do with hormones, but they isolated these from cruciferous vegetables. Okay. So like the supplement that we carry in the office is called triple cruciferous vegetable. And that's what the DIM that we recommend in office is in. Got it. Like the Life Extensions brand, triple cruciferous vegetable. So that's what it's made from. So this is something that we can get through our diet, but nine times out of 10, people are not going to be able to eat and properly digest enough of those vegetables to get the full benefits that we're going to talk about. Totally understand. And so it's something that has to be, well, it should be taken in supplement form Mm -hmm. because you're probably not going to get enough of it from your food. Right. Um, why? Like, Why do what, we need what do we do it? Okay. <laughs> well, so it was originally discovered when scientists were researching um, and made a connection between cruciferous vegetables and lower cancer rates. Mm. And so then they've just kind of taken it from there and researched it more. Um, so we use this supplement to influence the metabolism of estrogen is the big thing that it's doing for us. Okay, so the metabolism of estrogen mm-hmm. is super important. Yes. Okay, and it and I'm going to talk that. about more. So it it influences it. Okay. So we're not increasing estrogen levels with this. We're not decreasing estrogen levels with this. We are influencing the way the body metabolizes the estrogen. Interesting. Which is how like it gets rid of it out of the body. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Fo- I'm following. So I'll go a little bit deeper with you. So when the body wants to get rid of estrogen, it goes through a process in the liver, starting out in the liver, where the liver basically is responsible for kind of like patch packaging it up all nicely so that then the bowel and the kidneys can get rid of it. There's two steps to this called phase one and phase two detox. So we want to get rid of estrogen. Yeah, your body has to get We're, we get we're constantly making estrogen, getting rid of estrogen, or okay. putting estrogen in and getting rid of it. Okay. Um, so it goes through this process constantly. DIM helps to make this process better. Okay. So during phase one detox, the liver is going to convert estrogen into three possible metabolites. So we have 2, 4, or 16 hydroxyestrone. Okay. So estrogen can break down to 2-hydroxyestrone, 4-hydroxyestrone, or 16-hydroxyestrone. Okay. Okay. With you. Out of all of these, the 2-hydroxyestrone is the most favorable. This is the healthiest one. We'll call this our good estrogen metabolite. Okay. The 4 and the 16, those metabolites are associated with an increased risk for weight gain, increased risk for cancers like breast cancer, uterine, and prostate cancer. And in men, it can be associated with lower libido and gynecomastia as well. Interesting. Okay. So a lot of this is about how you metabolize. Exactly. You break down your estrogen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And so we go through that process regardless. Your body every single day is metabolizing and detoxing. We just want to support that and make it go the best way that it can. Okay. So DIM helps to support phase one detox. So it basically turns on the pathway for good estrogen metabolism, which then increases the chances that that estrogen will go down that pathway. So it's like waving a green flag. Hey, come this way. Um, We've got a good way to go. Okay. So it encourages the estrogen metabolism to go down the good pathway that we want it to go down. Okay. Decreases the risk of estrogen being metabolized into the four or the 16 hydroxyestrone or the bad estrogens. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. 
Then we move into phase two detox, um, where those metabolites that have broken down into, hopefully we've made it into a good estrogen. Then those metabolites are methylated and prepared to be excreted by the kidneys and the bowel. So this is where good gut health comes in. You know, I'm the gut health queen. We yep. always talk about gut health. Everything comes back to the gut. We've got to have good gut health to support our detoxification pathways. And then we've also got to have good kidney health. We've got to be drinking lots of water so we can get rid of the things in our body that the body wants to get rid of. Seems like it's so much about like absorption and, you know, how do you use everything? Yeah. Using it well. Yes, absolutely. And then once we're done with it, getting rid of it well. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't thought about that one. Um, Yeah. So if we have, once we get to phase two, if we have dysbiosis in the gut, there can be a element present called beta-glucurondase, and this can reactivate bad estrogen. So basically it can take something that was good and make it bad again and make it harder for the body to get rid of again. Okay. Okay. So since we're already talking about detox, the way to support phase two detox is going to be taking methylated B vitamins, like a methylated B12, a folate, magnesium, and possibly a a supplement called calcium deglucurate. Um, This is something that is going to help get rid of the beta-glucurondase. So there are some supplements out there that are a combination of all of that. Okay. DIM, B12, um, folate, magnesium, and the calcium deglucurate will all be in one supplement. And so that supports phase one and phase two detox. When you say all in one supplement, mm-hmm. like all in one? All, like, all mixed together. Interesting. There are certain brands that make those all together. Super cool. Or you can take them all separately. Okay. Um, but so that's where, that's the big thing that DEM is doing for us. We're metabolizing our estrogen and getting rid of it in the healthiest way possible okay. by using DEM. Um, so patients that can benefit from DEM, um, this is really helpful with any situation where we have estrogen dominance because we're going to get a lot of metabolites of estrogen that we don't want. Um, So perimenopause is a time that a lot of times we'll run into estrogen dominance. This can help with hot flashes and night sweats in that time frame because we're getting rid of the estrogen better and balancing things out better. This can also be helpful for PMS symptoms. Um, Acne, like a hormonal acne, this can be beneficial for. Um, Again, like I said earlier, DIM can help to prevent prostate cancers, breast cancers, um, some even colon cancers cancers. So lowering our risks for a lot of different cancers. Um, This can also help with weight loss, actually, um, partly by balancing estrogen. So we've talked about it before in my estrogen dominance video, but estrogen dominance can pack a lot of weight around the belly. Mm. So with DIM, we're getting to that better metabolite of estrogen because it's the bad estrogen that packs that on. So if we're metabolizing our estrogen better, we're getting less of the bad estrogen. We're having less of that fat build up around the midsection. I'm starting to really understand why this is one of our more popular yeah, vitamins. In we talk this. about it all the like, time. Yeah, everybody can use this. Even absolutely, men, which I yeah, absolutely. Didn't, when picking up, but yeah, now I picked up. Yes. So for in men, um, uh, DIM has been shown to prevent testosterone from turning into as much estrogen. Um, again, helps estrogen metabolism. Men have estrogen too. They need to get rid of it as yep. well. Yep. And it can also help prevent testosterone from turning into DHT, which then like attacks hair follicles and things like that and helps prevent prostate cancer. So, yeah. So we have these hormones. We're trying to send them in the right way. Mm-hmm. Uh, in and out, I guess. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, so dosing on this, um, typical dose is anywhere from 50 up to 300 milligrams daily. Okay. This is one of those I encourage start start low and work up slow. When you're initially starting on it, the detoxification support can cause some headaches. Um, so if you start on it, you get a headache, drop that dose down and work back up a little bit more slowly with it. Um, with the detoxification support, also it can cause a little bit of darker urine initially. Both of those would be normal just drop the dose and work back up on it and make sure you're hydrating really well. Again, you've got to be drinking water to support the kidneys and helping flush out what they're trying to get rid of. Um, And then another thing to keep in mind, high doses of DIM can affect your sodium levels. So if you're a person that's already on a diuretic that can affect your sodium, we want to be careful with our dosing on DIM. Are you testing anything for this? Are you just going by, okay, they're estrogen dominant or, okay, this person has PMS or say for a male, you know, they're, like you said, they're, they're just have too much estrogen. Is there any testing or is this all symptom based? There is testing that you can do. Um, the Dutch test actually Mm. looks at the metabolites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if we have a lot of concern, we can actually do a Dutch test and it will show us what we're metabolizing into. And then we know exactly what pathways we need to support to get those better metabolites. Mm. But also we know 
every single person in the entire world is detoxing every single day. Right. Everybody needs detox support. So we don't really have to test. I was also thinking like, you know, you're doing hormones with people all day long. Yeah. Is this something that pretty much anyone that's on bioidentical hormone replacement therapy would should consider yeah yeah oh. any anybody can benefit from this it's not going to hurt anything it's not going to like counteract what we're trying to do with bioidentical hormones because again it's not forcing your body to get rid of estrogen okay your body's going to detoxify and get rid of that estrogen either way it's just making it happen in a healthier way mm. you know when we start the show I did not realize that this was a detox thing, yeah. but it's totally a detox thing. Yep. And everybody loves detox. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, detox with Dem. Is that a thing? <laughs> detox yeah, with absolutely. Dem? Absolutely. I like that. It's our <laughs> new tagline, detox with Dem. Well, Robin, <laughs> you explained it. They named it. Um, until next time, are we, is that a show? That's a show. That's a show. There we go. See you guys next time. Don't go away.